Hi guys, welcome to another episode of BTEC Academy. You're about to get schooled. I'm here with Budget EG today and I was actually getting ready to change over the throttle body trying to get a little more horsepower of this. I have a throttle body here. Uh, they have a boring service on throttle bodies through King Motorsports and you can get any thro Honda throttle body overboard and I have this Accord throttle body that we're going to be putting on Project Budget EG to see if we can get some more horsepower. That's going to be along with that we're also going to be putting on a long tube 4 in one header as well as uh, a 50 degree VTC to see if we can't get some more juice out of it. But I thought that was a perfect opportunity to talk about throttle bodies. So what I have here is all four of the types of throttle bodies you normally find on a K-series engine. And we're talking about the drive-by throttle cable throttle bodies. Uh, I have here the most common one, which is the, is the RSX Type S. I have the base model RSX or also the CRV throttle body. I have the Accord throttle body. This one, of course, overboard by King Motorsports. And I have one that's a little bit more rare. This particular one is the one that comes on the Accord Euro R. Uh, not quite as common in the US. Now, interestingly, the uh, one that's overboard by uh, King Motorsports is actually slightly larger. So let's go over some of the differences here. Uh, the Accord Euro R and the Accord throttle body have the same bolt pattern. They will both bolt on to the RBC manifold, the RRC manifold, and of course the TSX and Accord manifolds. Uh, you have to be careful on the uh, TSX manifold because some of the stuff doesn't have this port down here, which is for the intake, uh, for the uh, idle air control valve. Um, you'll notice here that both of these have the idle air control valve down below. Uh, the RSX, the CRV, and the base RSX, they share the same bolt pattern, and those are interchangeable on those manifolds. Although, honestly, why would you want a CRV or base uh, RSX manifold? Don't want that. It's uh, only good for torque and only good in your mom's CRV. So the real reason we're talking about, though, has to do with the throttle position sensor. So what winds up happening is the throttle position sensors are not the same. If you look at both the Accord, I'm sorry, the RSX Type S and the Accord Your R, you'll notice that these are clocked the same. They look the same. They are the same. You look here at the Accord one, it's clocked a little bit differently. It's not the same, although it operates the same. And the reason for that is it's on the same side of the throttle ball as the others. This one is different. This one is on the opposite side. And because it's on the opposite side, when you open the throttle body, it opens backwards compared to the others. So that also means it's wired backwards. So if you're trying to use a CRV harness or base RSX harness with one of these other throttle bodies, you're gonna need to rewire the TPS. So let's look at that real quick. So what I have here is a CRV harness that's from an automatic that I'm actually going to be converting over to manual so that I can use in one of my swaps. Uh, what we're interested in for this particular video is the throttle position sensor. That's this little plug right here. Now, it's actually really close to where the harness comes around the side of the head, so it's going to have to be lengthened in order to reach over to our other throttle body. But right now, what we're going to talk about is how it's pinned. So if you look at this harness, we have three wires here. We have a ground wire, a signal wire, and a power wire. And basically what needs to happen is the ground wire and the power wires need to switch sides. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. We need two tools for doing that. We have our one millimeter terminal tool. There'll be a link down in the notes below telling you where you can buy this tool. It's actually part of a four piece set, I believe. Uh, you can also use, if you want, a one millimeter screwdriver. We also have a pick tool. Those things are available anywhere. So we start off, we lift off the lock. Once we do that, we're going to reach in here next to the metal terminal. 
grab the wire we want to pull out, slide along, find our little retainer tab, lift it up, and we pull the pin out. All right, now we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. We're going to grab hold of the wire, slide along till we find the retaining tab, lift it, and pull that wire out as well. Now we simply swap them. Make sure they go back in the same way they came out. Once we do that, we pop the lock back in. And now it is pinned correctly for our TPS. The only problem is we're going to need to lengthen it as well because it is too short. So as you can see, swapping the wires is actually pretty easy. It's going to be necessary to do that, much like we had to do with the crank angle sensor in one of our earlier tech tips. Now, like I said, the only thing I need to do is lengthen it so it fits. This harness, by the way, is actually from an automatic transmission CRV. I'm going to be converting this over to manual, so that's going to be in an upcom upcoming video. Anyway, thank you very much for joining us for another quick tip from VTech Academy. I hope you enjoyed it. Blum, blum, blum. Hey guys, if you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. And maybe even head on over to the VTech Academy website and check out our cool t-shirts. Anyway, thanks again.